What's up guys? Happy holidays from the Montiverse. I'm joined by Nikki today and we are going to do a special holiday themed video for you guys in honor of the holiday season. Nothing says the holiday season quite like the Guardians of the Galaxy. Specifically, the holiday special. You're right, because we have yet to check out the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, the Marvel special presentation that was released a little while ago. And we thought, what better time to do a reaction video to it than around Christmas, around Hanukkah, around all of the holidays. All the holidays seem appropriate for the holiday special. You're right. So, without further <laughs> ado, let's watch the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get going. All right, guys. We will start it right now. We've de definitely waited long enough to watch yeah, this. Absolutely. I love this special presentation opening. So would this technically be the third Christmas-themed MCU work behind Hawkeye and Iron Man 3? Yes. Technically. We're typing this so well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is the opening animated? It, it looks like it. <gasps> oh my gosh. In the fires of Olgard, it's Mary Poppins. It's kind of sad, though. What? Yeah. Well, it's a celebration we have once a year on Earth. It was Pete's idea. <laughs> <laughs> and this one here's for you. Don't come Ooh. at me with no damn gifts. What a ravager gets, he works for. We ain't about no damn handouts. Oof. It's more like a... Sign of appreciation. That sounds more like sentiment, boy. That may be okay for you mushy types on Terra, but out here in the cold rigors of space Oof. is what'll get you killed. And you. Oh, it does get back. him killed. Now, oh, not nice. Get this crap out of here. You both gonna be cleaning the latrines for the rest of the damn year. What a grinch. But that's Jeff's favorite job. I mean, is that surprising? <laughs> no, oh, it's funny. Jeff's favorite job. <laughs> Whoa. Poor Jeff. Poor, poor Jeff. <laughs> Christmas. Oh, unnecessary, Yondu. He, does he even actually know enough about it to really hate it? And that's how Yondu <laughs> What a great that opening. so sad. <laughs> I like the part where Yondu kicked over the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I just saw... That was such a heartbreaking story. I know. I hate stories where everybody is. <laughs> <laughs> Peter's doing clerical work. Cosmo! Cosmo, what use is telekinesis if you can't even aim? You want to do it? Do it! <laughs> Concentrate, you stupid mutt. What? I refuse to do any more work while you demean me. <laughs> oh my god, her voice sounds so also, good. One of those delicious traits in that bag. <laughs> <laughs> Not for nothing, in, from the Guardians of the Galaxy comics, Cosmo is one of my favorite characters. Nice. You're like, I'm so happy that she's going to have a bigger part in this and Volume 3. Peter? Oh, hi, Bees and Make a Talk a Lock. <laughs> I think I've these old earth instruments and working on a little ditty, and I thought you might be able to help us out as it's about one of your earth traditions. Oh, huh? Christmas. The one oh, this is nice. The they call Christmas. That's perfect. Good. <laughs> now I'm not gonna lie, it oh, makes more. no sense to me. <laughs> is this a long song? <laughs> Santa is <laughs> This is very good. Yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! Uh, I know we saw it in the Volume 3 trailer. But... That Groot form still bothers me. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. He's very bulky. Yes. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that makes him sound really cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god, Groot is killing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
I love how this continues the tradition of a Guardian's property starting with a musical number. Right. But I appreciate that. This is... I'm assuming this is original. Yes. This... And, I, and I'm not just out of the loop of... of and it also really helps establish song. the story. All right. That was a banger. That was good. <laughs> you just got these instruments. And I just want to see Groot dance. Maybe if we gave Peter a really wonderful Christmas gift. It would make him happy. Well, we could give him those Zarg nuts. <laughs> Come on. Get over to Zarg nuts! <laughs> <laughs> over the years, Quill has talked about one person more than any other. A legendary hero who has saved countless lives. We could give him the Quill as a present. <laughs> I don't know about the countless lives part. Yes, he has. Oh. You know how many lives Footloose has saved? I didn't know they were gonna establish Kevin Bacon this early. Right. Oh, that's the new ship that we saw in the trailer. Was she <laughs> always this sassy? I wish I brought her. I wish she did too. <laughs> yeah, Drax was also sassy. No, Mantis. Oh no. But remember, we didn't really spend. Man, this, they've been together for years. We just right. haven't spent a lot of time with Mantis after being a guardian for years. Which is totally fair. Yeah, because there's a big time jump from Guardians 2 to Infinity War. Right, because Guardians 2 is technically 2014. Yeah. <laughs> Ant-Man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, like, doesn't she know he also went back in time? No. Okay, fair. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was the that was the guy from Moon Knight. Crawley, that's it. From Moon Knight. God. Oh god. The fact that you re remember Well, he's a character from the comics. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm really glad that Drax solved his nipple sensitivity issue. Mhm. Mm he's able to wear shirts now. Right. I'm very glad that's exactly what's going on yeah. here. <laughs> that's Flula. Why would I know what Kevin Oh my god. <laughs> Oof. First time shots are not fun. <laughs> <laughs> or not. <laughs> Ooh, are they both lightweights? Yeah, I could definitely see Drax being a lightweight. Come out and dance with us. <laughs> Dancing is for people who are pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> How about a drink then? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe not a single one of our new homies. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. You want to know where Kevin Bacon lives? <laughs> <laughs> Forty bucks. Give it to me for free. <laughs> <laughs> Gave me all your money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John Cena! I love how John Cena, the person, is MCU canon now. I know. Oh my God! Drax should visit John Cena. They'd both be invisible. That is true. <laughs> Man, Kevin Bacon in the MCU is so happy. I know. He's such a jolly person. Kevin Bacon, he's probably got great ears. I'm sorry, guys. Look what you did. You acted weird and you made him not want to talk to us. Sorry. Yeah, he's the one who acted weird. Yes. You think you can toss me over the gate if you... Ow. Ooh. <gasps> <laughs> I want this funny man. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that's what it's here for. I want to know what her, the appeal of that is to her, though. 
it's Mantis. We can never know. That's completely fair. <laughs> Dude, like, don't answer it. Okay, he's not, at least. Why are you so chill about this? <laughs> oh my god. You're coming with us. That's a Christmas present. People in costumes. I want it. I mean, the Earth has been attacked by multiple aliens. Yeah. The, the um, it, automatic assumption that this must be fake. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh god. god. Oof. Dang. Kevin Bacon. Yeah, that's that's pretty savage. Is he an Avenger? Does he have super soldier serum? I left my little funny man back in the house. What? I want to go back and get him. But Kevin Bacon is gonna get away. But you still have your swirly red and white curly man. How can you possibly think this is a man? <laughs> I don't know. Or shape? <laughs> well, how is it fair you get to keep it and I don't? Because I was responsible and held on to it. Aww. Aww. Do you love Peter and want to save Christmas? Or do you want a little funny man? <laughs> <laughs> Funny man. No! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if Mantis could jump that high, why could, didn't she jump over the gate? Yeah. Because <laughs> the gate was definitely not any not higher. Not as high as that. <laughs> well, at least she's non lethal. True. Oh god. oh god! That might be the <laughs> far worse approach. Rats! You can't just kill people. <laughs> we are not doing anything wrong. We are just taking the legendary hero Kevin Bacon to give him as a present to a friend who is sad about Christmas. <laughs> would love to come with us. Hey, where are we going? First, there. <laughs> Honestly, just looking at all that gives me a headache. Like, just think about cleaning that up. <laughs> look, at, look at Drax's sweater. He's got laser cams. He's a hero. Like, would you consider grabbing dinner like one time and team up? No. Eating together is not a team up. <laughs> so, like, nope. Again, not me, the character I played. And he didn't actually kill Jason. Uh, he got stabbed through the neck with an arrow. <laughs> <laughs> He's an actor! He's never actually saved anyone. But actors are repugnant! I know. <laughs> oh, God! They're gross and creepy when they pretend to be someone else. You don't get to live just one life. You get to live so oh, many lives. And we got Quill the worst gift ever. <laughs> 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 this is the worst day of my life! Kevin Bacon, you have to pretend you're an actual hero or else Christmas is doomed. Blimey, mate. <laughs> Just on them Nazis on the beach. What are you doing? Hero, ain't I then? Hey, yeah, sure, fine. Uh, hello, I'm the Batman. <laughs> I mean, uh, hello, I'm Bruce Wayne. Who is Bruce Wayne? No! Don't be so mad! He can't Whoa. be like if he didn't suck! <laughs> <laughs> Man, she's such a savage! Damn, she's just angry. Oh he looks so weird. He looks like Baby Groot, just longer. Yeah. <laughs> Which I guess he's supposed to. But even Teenage Groot, like, looked a little bit lankier. I know, right? It's weird. It takes some getting used to, but... I mean, I think it's funny just the way the proportions have, like, been messed up over time. I love the way he moves as young adult Groot. Like, <laughs> he's very, he's very, like, giddy. He's very, Groot is very giddy. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I 
That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, now I can at least see why they got all the stuff they did. Yeah. They got like everything. They didn't just get Christmas decorations. They got like multiple Merry holiday Christmas decorations. Year. Aww. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Hey, uh, guys, I'm about to pass out. There's uh, no air in here. <laughs> Dude, just take the lid off. Ta da! <laughs> 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 What'd you do? What? What did you do? We got you Kevin Bacon as a present. You got me a human being. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who has everything. This is human trafficking. Yes. <laughs> this is Drax's idea. Uh, it was. Tell you the truth, I am totally stoked about the whole thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> You used your powers on him, didn't you? Maybe I can't remember. <laughs> Get Kevin Bacon out of the trance now. Oof, that's gonna be rough. <laughs> oh no. Just be what you really are. No! No! Come down. I'm not gonna hurt you. That's a talking raccoon. I'll kill you. <laughs> Craglin, prepare the Bowie for his transport. Oh, back it's called Earth. the Bowie. I am Groot. Oh, suddenly you thought it was a bad idea all along. <laughs> Dude, I literally just saw you wheel him out in front of me. <laughs> Go get Kevin Bacon. I've got him. <laughs> Don't kill him. Can't outrun me, Bacon! <laughs> Mant and these dopes, they was just hoping you'd bring the joy of Christmas back into his heart is all. <laughs> oh, that's all. Oh, I know. Oh, man. Kevin Bacon is going to become a real hero. Oh. Man, he has great cell reception. Oh, God. How on earth do you get reception? Oh, okay. A uh, couple of good satellite dishes out front will get you anything within about 400 million light years. Would it be okay if I'm just a little bit late? I got some friends here that I need to learn about Christmas. <laughs> Good on you, Kevin Bacon. Man, my my heart just got real. It's three times warm. larger. Yeah. Look at that. Kevin Bacon is a hero. Wait, does he actually sing? Yeah. Shoot, I didn't know that. Yeah, and he plays uh, guitar. No one eats peach pie during yeah, Christmas. Yeah, bacon. But to each their own at the same time, people. Only 90 days until Pi Day. 90 days! <laughs> Aww! Oh my god! That's awesome. I hope he has Pokemon Yellow. I, look how Gro I love how Groot got so happy. He like jumped. Yeah. Aww, this is cute. Let the small kids sing so we can all hear it. Oh, oh my god! god. Lucky's off. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> he got that arm. He got it. That's really sweet. Because yeah. technically they are the closest. Yeah, after... after anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cosmo. Man. We've had two Christmas dogs. We had Lucky and, and Cosmo. Cosmo. Wait, was there a dog in Iron Man 3? Yeah, Tony Stark. Oh. Oh. Aww. The funny man. Aww. <laughs> wow. Look at Groot. Wow. MVP right there. Got everyone. Aww. Oh my god! Oh 
my god. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, he wasn't there for any of that. Yeah. <laughs> How does this work continuity wise? Oh man, he's so good. Yeah. Oh my god, it's Kraglin holding Kraglin holding Kraglin! Groot is awesome. Bye, Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Bacon. We love you, Kevin Bacon. <laughs> hey, I'll see you at Easter. Whoa. Wow. I guess all actors aren't complete pieces of shit. Kagan <laughs> <laughs> told us a story about how Yondu ruined Christmas. So we wanted to save it for you. Aww. I'm not sure Kraglin knows how that story ended. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. <laughs> A, a bracing for an awe moment. <laughs> oh no, Taserface got a gift. Throw that out. <laughs> oh, there was the, it's the, one of the little troll dolls, like an alien troll doll. Oh, Yandu got him a gift. Oh. That's <laughs> He might be Ego? He might be what? He might be He is My father too Wait, so does that make you my sister? Mantis That's the greatest Christmas gift I could ever get I mean, yeah. So are all those so is this implying that all the dolls that Yandu had were Christmas gifts from Peter? That's so sweet. Them, aw, that's cute. That's that's lovely. That was really nice. Yeah. That was that was just really wholesome. Mm. That was that was Christmas told through the lens of the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, nothing more you could really ask for from this. It mm. was touching while still retaining the Guardians' reputations for being a holes. Um. <laughs> very cute it, it really it didn't do much to set up part three besides like i think cosmo ca like canonical stuff like right. cosmo maybe. like the mm. fact that they bought nowhere right maybe mantis like something will affect her role now yeah but... like she's she's gonna be a lot closer to peter now i'm sure mm -hmm. um we, we get the name of the ship which is the bowie which yep. i was curious about <laughs> in the volume three trailer i was like huh i wonder what that's gonna be called right um, which is cool. I oh, like that. I wonder if Rock is going to do something with the arm now. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> hope that gets addressed by Bucky. At some point in, in the MCU. In the Thunderbolts, if he doesn't go, yeah, I had to get a new arm because a <laughs> raccoon has stole mine. Because Te a raccoon Technically Nebula. It. Yeah. Because <laughs> a blue lady came and stole my arm. Like, I, that needs to be addressed. <laughs> I'm sorry. We can't let that go. Um, but yeah, it was really cute. Uh, is there a post credit? Okay, there is. So we'll keep watching. Um, it was really. I really liked. Like they were so small, but I love the animated sequences. So good. It. It. I think that 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 that's animated over film. Like Ro like rotoscope? the. Rotoscope. Yeah, rotoscope. It's, okay. It's uh, because they there were behind the scene pictures of uh Rooker on set. Okay. Like a Rooker on set. Mm -hmm. filming those scenes okay so it's definitely rotoscoped over 
I mean, it looks in- even, I, it, but I like that choppy look of it. I thought it was charming. It I think very it, charming because, like, at first I was wondering, like, are we getting um, what if level animation? But like, yeah. I think I think it was so sweet and it fit the tone they were going for. Yeah, because no, go ahead. I was gonna say because also like almost had the feel of like the animated holiday special. Absolutely, you, I was gonna say the same thing. If it, it felt. There's animation is definitely synonymous with a lot of Christmas and holiday stuff. Mm -hmm. So I like that James got incorporated that a little bit into this. Right. Uh, it just it, it just adds to the holiday flavor of this special. Right. You know? Oh, <laughs> a Christmas tree, Groot. Come on, Groot. Groot, ruin Christmas again. <laughs> oh, we gotta have another special. <laughs> oh, I wonder if that's an implication. That another special is coming. To be fair, they can't expect him to just stand there. Yeah, that, come on, Rock. Come on. He's he's not he's not adult Groot yet. He's young adult Groot. Yeah, he can only handles so yeah, much responsibility. Yeah, come on, Rocket. Be a better father. To yeah. Groot. So anyway, <laughs> I that was beautiful. I loved it. Um, I love that it kept the the core th uh, the core theme of Guardians, mm -hmm. which is family. The core Thor of Guardians. Yeah, the core Thor. <laughs> Thor's core <laughs> of Guardians. Thor's ripped abs. Um, but I love that, and I love that this was told through Mantis's perspective. Yeah. Because by far, she is the Guardian that had the least to do right. in I've... any all of their appearances. I mean, literally, it's like, hey, come along now. And that's yeah. literally it. And then James Gunn had mentioned that her and Drax got the short end of the stick in Infinity War and Endgame right. and... Mm -hmm. Um, I think she even got it worse than Drax. Like, yeah. at least Drax had a couple moments. Drax got it worse because Thanos is supposed to be Drax's story. That's that's a good point. That's true. So, you know, Drax didn't get to address any of that, um, mm -hmm. even though he built it up at the end of Guardians 1. Right. But this kind of helped flesh out Mantis a little bit more, and it showed us different shades than just, like, airhead Mantis. Right. Like, it was at first like a little weird to me, but like it was so funny in the yeah. way that Tom Clemente played. <laughs> so good, she it was, was so good. It was so like, I love the over the top moments where she's just screaming and like telling Drax how horrible he is yeah, and it, how dumb he is. Cause yes, Drax is an idiot, but my problem with her and Drax's relationship is, is her playing off of Drax made her seem idiotic as well. Right. But this really changed my opinion of Mantis. Oh yeah. It really showed that she was a lot more competent. Mm -hmm. She was a lot more considerate and caring. Like Drax is just like, Drax is an airhead. Drax right. is an idiot. Um, but man, it, this really showed a lot of layers mm -hmm. to the character of Mantis. Right. And I really appreciate James Gunn for doing that, especially like as, as a pre, like- Precursor? To volume three. Mm -hmm. Where we're going, so now I am prepared with more Mantis backstory going into Volume Three. So it will help me if there are any like Mantis scenes that will really help me, like live in that moment. Right, and again, I think like you said, she was very much more fleshed out than she was before. And even though, yeah, there were points where she was a, a little hard on Drax, it's like, but she was obviously very caring. Like it wasn't like we yeah. had another Nebula. It was. Yeah, no, she got Drax the little man. The, the little elf man. Little, fun, um, little funny man. Little funny man. There we go. That's <laughs> it. Uh, so it shows like she cares. She's, she was just so stressed out because this is her greatest shame. In her mind, like her mm -hmm. greatest shame was serving ego. Right. And it shows like why she would think telling Peter would be a bad thing because her experience with family is ego. Right. Not the best experience. But from Peter's perspective, she, she doesn't realize that from Peter's perspective, he would embrace a family member with open arms because... He lost his mom, mm. his best friend, the person he loved the most in the world. He lost Yandu, mm. who was a, who was a surrogate father figure. His father is was a, was an, a, a cosmic a hole, literally. <laughs> and you know, so he has this found family in the Guardians, but for him to have actual tangible family, right? Like that, that would that, you're, that he said it the best. That's the best gift you could ever get for someone like that, mm -hmm. because he's had really nothing. He's had nothing. The fact that he's as well adjusted as he is is kind of incredible. Yeah, you know, but I think people are a little too hard on Peter. Mm -hmm. They don't, they can't empathize with Peter and everything that he's lost. Uh, people were very hard on him, yeah. on him after Infinity War, but like, this is a this is a person who lost everything. Right. Also, and Gam I don't know if you mentioned her before, but Gamora. Yeah, Gamora. On, like he technically twice because it's like first she's killed, and then he thinks he sees her again. 
and then she's just gone, yeah. and he clearly was trying to look for her at yeah. the end of Endgame. Like, to stare the woman you love in the face and have her not know who you are, on top of on top of already thinking she was dead, it has to be one of the most heartbreaking things you could possibly endure. Right. So the fact that Peter's as functioning as he is now, yeah. and he's even capable of leading the Guardians, uh, helping rebuild nowhere, mm -hmm. you know, doing all these things, patrolling the galaxy, like... Good on him. Like, I, like honestly, like I felt, I feel a little bad for Peter, and I think yeah. Peter gets the short end of the stick a lot of times because of his behavior in mm -hmm. Guardians One. But I, th I don't think people take into account like his life experiences. All right. I mean, I think it's fair to say he's a bit douchey at times, yeah. and certainly gets a little bit insecure. I mean, <laughs> talk about Thor. Yeah, but. I mean, but then you also have Mantis and Drax burglarizing. Uh, multi, yeah. like s stealing that what lady's money. Oh my god! Stealing all the Christmas decorations from a small business. Uh, right. uh Not uh, disobeying police officers, f destroying public property, right. kidnapping. So you know, yeah. <laughs> Even Groot has one moment where Peter's like, "Oh, now all of a sudden you <laughs> think it's a bad idea." You literally ruled it out. And, uh, I don't. There are so many good moments in this. Oh, I know. But you know, I'm a hardcore Rocket stan. Yes. So I think one of my favorite mo moments is when Rocket's like talking down Kevin Bacon. He's like, "Hey, man, it's all right." And then Kevin Bacon's like, "That's a talking raccoon. He just goes, <laughs> I'll kill you." Like, oh my god, I love that. Because oh you know, like, that's something I would find funny. Very, yeah. very funny. Oh yeah. That that's my that's my. Uh, I love Rocket so much. Oh man. Rock, Rocket's my spirit animal in more ways than one. And he got, and I and I love. This is what James Gunn does the best with these characters. He he's so good at weaving together continuity. Like he knows, meant uh, that Nebula and and Rocket should have the strongest relationship. Like his her relationship with him should be the strongest out of any of the other members oh, of the yeah. Guardians. Maybe, maybe not Rocket to her because Rocket was a father to Groot and he spent all these years with the Guardians. Mm -hmm. But she, but the fact that she went and got him Bucky's arm. Right, holy shit. And she played, and, and it was played very sincere, like, she like she didn't quip or anything. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it was a really nice touch, and it really helped show that they still have that established relationship from right. Endgame. Oh, yeah, and I love, even though she didn't have a huge role in this special specifically, I love the trajectory she's gone on since Infinity War. Yes. To where, like, she's still very much the same character, yeah. like, she's still aloof and cold. I mean, not giving a shit about Christmas, but... She's warmed up so much. Yeah, and she's and she's willing to be a part of a group. Right. Whereas before, she didn't want to be a part of anything. Right, and this is despite the fact that Gamora, her tie to them is gone, yeah, nowhere she, to be seen. She's She wants family, but she doesn't want you to know she wants to be yeah. a part of a family. Right, but at, at the same time, considering what Thanos put her yeah, through. Yeah, I mean... Talk about another character like Peter who was put through the ringer. Yeah, who has bad familial experiences. Jeez, you think, you're, you think your holidays are bad. Imagine being Thanos' second favorite daughter. Yeah. Yikes. Jeez. Okay. You know, poor Nebula. But I like the, I like the little things. It, it's the little sprinkles. It's always the little things in these Guardians movies that I love mm. the most. Uh, Guardians just continues to show why it's... I, listen, if, if three sticks the <laughs> landing... As much as I, I'm a firm believer that the Captain America trilogy is the best trilogy in Marvel, if Guardians 3 sticks to landing, which uh, we we have no reason to assume it won't because we saw the trailer. It looks really good. Guardians might be the best franchise in the MCU. It, it, I would say it's possibly and also probably the most consistent at that. Yeah. Um, I know you're not the biggest fan of two, yeah. though, but even then, it's like, it's not an awful movie. No, it's not unwatchable. It's not bad by any means. I just, I think it's a huge step down from one. And right, which is fair. It's it's fair, but then with the Guardians in Infinity War and Endgame, I think they had strong parts in both of those movies. Oh yeah, and their parts are some of the best stuff. Like some of the, the some of the Rocket stuff in Endgame. Yeah, is like, really good. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say like I can see just before Guardians three comes out, Disney Plus does like some corny the Guardians collection where it's just like every MCU film that they've appeared in. But that's a very solid group of movies. Like yeah. you said, that they actually feature in. Like Infinity War, when they come, when they come, when a rubber band man starts playing and you meet the Guardians for, again in Infinity <laughs> War, you're excited. Like you're you're excited, and they change and they change the movie. When when the Guardians come on screen, it feels like a Guardians movie. Yeah. Which is why Infinity War is so good because oh, yeah. it, it, the tone shifts so many times throughout that movie. 
But like, uh, they're, they're great in that. They're great in, in Love and Thunder. I think they have some of the best stuff in Love and Thunder I, for I, the five minutes they're in it. I was going to say, if the worst movies they've appeared in is Guardians 2 and Love and Thunder, that's not that bad. Yeah, and then this is a huge step up from Guardians 2 for me. I think, you know, it's just... I, I think it was tight, how tight it was. Right. And, and how it's, it stuck to its story and how mm -hmm. everything... It, it builds on the layers that were already established inside the universe. Right. And I was going to say, something that's also just a little refreshing, and by all means, like, I don't think they could have done this without shoe having it felt shoehorned in. It's kind of nice when you have a story that doesn't really have a true antagonist. Yeah. This is just, like, them kind of going about their day, but, like, there's something special about it. Yeah. I mean, I guess the antagonist is seasonal depression. And they beat it. That got dark really quickly. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Like, <laughs> I mean, but that, it's the truth. It, it, like, yeah, I guess. yeah. It's... We all experience. Listen, we all experience sadness around the holidays, especially for especially people who lost someone, right. or people who are experiencing or going through a tough loss or a tough time. Mm -hmm. But it's important to put yourself out there and find people, or to, or if you do have a support system out there, to really lean into your support system. Right. Uh, we can all get through this together. And, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you guys are having a tough time, there are plenty of numbers that you can call out there that I highly recommend you guys do. But, um, yeah, I didn't mean for it to get serious, but I think that that really... It's the theme of... It's, it's part an of underlying theme, maybe. Like, it's not maybe not seasonal depression, but I think it's it's trying to stop Peter from being so upset and depressed. I, I mean, literally, this, the special starts with him back when he was still very young, when he had more recently suffered the loss of his mom and being taken from yeah. his home. So the fact, again, he was even as adjusted back then as he was, and it's like, hey, here's part of like what I'm used to. Like, and having that kind of initially ripped away, it's like, that that's hard. Yeah, I mean, all the Peter, like, all the stuff with Peter and his mom, even in two is great. I wish we got a little bit more of that. That's probably one of my biggest problems with two is that we didn't get one one scene with Peter and his mom to help establish that core relationship mm -hmm. that triggers Peter at the end of the movie. Right. I mean, yeah, if you watched one, you understand you know why. why. But, but that's my favorite part of Guardians 2 when he goes, I didn't mean to put that tumor in your mom's head and Peter snaps on a dime and he goes, what did you say? Right. And he just blasts him without even hesitation. He just blasts him. Right. And not to mention they had the actress. It's not like they couldn't. Yeah, so I, I just think we could have got one more of those scenes in there. I'm sure there's a deleted scene somewhere. Um, but, the, but the movie was about fathers and sons. And I get that. You didn't want to incorporate that in there. But I think for the overall narrative of the Guardians, I think that would have fit well in there. Mm -hmm. But listen, we're talking about the holiday special. And let's talk about all the stuff we like. Because it got very serious very quickly. <laughs> Um, th this was fun. This was yeah. heartwarming. Mm -hmm. it, it feels, it felt good watching it. It, it felt good. It really did. I mean, it was jovial. It, like you said, it had some kind of darker moments, but on the whole, it's, it's just so goofy. Like, you can't help but smile watching it. We're going to steal a celebrity. Yeah. We're going to kidnap Kevin Bacon. Legend. And then when they found out he was an actor, oh no, <laughs> he's, he's, he's an actor. He sucks. He hasn't done anything. Actors are terrible human beings. <laughs> you know, like that sort of uh, James Gunn humor. Great. Always works <laughs> extremely well, especially in this franchise. Um, so, yeah, I love it. I, I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen this yet, if you're looking for something to watch during the holiday season, mm -hmm. highly recommend this. It's oh, yeah. so good. It's so good. But if you haven't watched it yet, why are you watching this? That's a really good question. <laughs> People just want to see our faces that badly. Go support Disney Plus and Marvel Studios Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. And tell them the Montiverse sent you. Wouldn't that be cool if like that got to Kevin Feige? Yeah, Kevin Feige <laughs> sends me a letter like, Hey, one person <laughs> said they watched this because of you. Out of the millions, one person said you sent them. And I really appreciate that. <laughs> All the love. Kevin. But not, it's not from Kevin Feige, it's from Kevin, Kevin. from Shield. It's spelled K-E-V-I-N. I mean, you'd still take that, though. <laughs> oh, I would take I would. I would put it on my fridge immediately and never take it down. <laughs> Hands down. But, yeah, I think... Uh, what else? Can, what more can we say about this? Besides, not a whole lot. Uh, I was gonna say, there are some good bangers in there. Oh, as, good, as good ex music. As expected. Yeah, some good non-traditional... I'm so glad James Gunn and I knew he wouldn't, but 
in all I feel like every holiday movie plays the same like 10 holiday songs yeah like now it's like I'm so glad Mariah Carey wasn't in here I was gonna say like not only do they play them they play them as straight as humanly possible I'm so glad James Gunn went and he and he found non-traditional overplayed pop Christmas music <laughs> he found different Christmas music um I forget the name of the band that that because the band the music that's played in here is played by the people who are in, dressed in character in is the that movie. they were credited in the beginning right the yes. 90s the uh, something so. I will ins <laughs> I'll insert their name right here right right and one of our hands will hold the name of the band and they were great. I really love them. I think they did a good job in oh, the scenes yeah. that they were in too, acting. I think they, they were, were very great. funny. Their comedic timing was really good. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, oh, he loved it, guys. He loved it. <laughs> like, oh, that was good. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't think there's really a, like I could gush. I, just watch it. This is really good. It's it's fun. It's it, this is marvelous two for two on special presentations. Oh Between yeah. Between Werewolf by Night and this, it's Werewolf by Night's perfect <clears throat> Halloween watch. This is the perfect Christmas watch. Right, and again, it's nice that with Phase 4, we're getting a lot of different stuff. And yeah. now it's a different format, so to speak. Yeah. And I think more so than Hawkeye or Iron Man 3, this is a better Christmas feel-good watch. Mm -hmm. Because the core ideals of, like, not only Christmas, but all holidays. Like, yeah. family, or just being around people... Like that youth consider family like good friends. I mean, he literally Kevin Bacon's coming back for Easter. Yeah, there's gonna be gonna, an Easter special, there's guys. There's gonna be an Easter special, or maybe a, a Guardians holiday special part two, where they kidnap Henry Winkler now. Oh God, the Fonz. Oh my God, imagine they kidnap both. You know what? I'm not putting that idea out there. I don't want Henry Winkler to get kidnapped. No. By the Guardians of the Galaxy. Or do we? Maybe. 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 Or who knows? Maybe now that's James Gunn, he could be old Adam Friend Smasher. Friend of the Montyverse. <laughs> Friend of the Montyverse, Henry Winkler. Okay, I've met Henry Winkler. Great guy, by the way. Ooh. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome time. Friend of the show. Yeah. Friend of the show, Henry Winkler. Thank Thanks for not endorsing us, Henry, but thank you for meeting me. I know. I wonder if they'd hate him more because it's like, oh, you're the guy that got killed and screamed. Or all the other stuff. And it's like, ugh, actors. Yeah, but... Or has he done more, do you think? He was the Fonz, though. He was the Fonz. But he that... was the dad in Click. In cl Real? What? Yeah. He was in Click. He was the emotional... You Have you... Do you not remember Click? Oh, that was... It was a long time ago. Oh, man. I... We can't talk... We can't... Speaking about emotional, we can't talk about that and Click. But we're, we're, we're losing the plot here. <laughs> we are. We're, we're, we're off the rails. It's it's, holiday, it's Christmas soon. We're off the rails. Or it might be Christmas when you're watching this. Who knows? We're off the rails. A little bit. We're off the rails, guys. <laughs> All right. But you know what? I think that's going to do it. I think that'll do it. Hey, if you guys like this video, you should give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest content. We have tons of stuff coming out all the time. Nikki, where can the people find you? You can find me at Twitter at UglordNikki. And you guys can find me on all of the socials at the Montyverse. Make sure to give us a follow and so you can check out all of our latest content. Happy holidays, guys, and stay burst. <laughs>